And the other problem is if you turn that switch off when the engine is running, you can destroy the alternator. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt and we're talking to Nigel Calder. Hi. Today's question is the following from one of our subscribers. I'm in the process of designing an upgrade to my electrical system. I have a starter battery plus a same size house battery and a one all two off switch. I will add another battery to the house battery and a 100 watt solar panel. What is the best way to optimize the installation? If I have a battery charger powered by shore power, do you only charge the starter battery or the house batteries or all of them? Hmm. Okay, Nigel. So this is a, a very typical installation on uh, older sailboats, uh, smaller boats that didn't have big, powerful electrical systems. So you just had two batteries, same size, with a, a one, two, both switch. So then you can select which battery you want to crank the engine and to run the house loads. And typically speaking, we would designate one as the cranking battery and one as the house battery. And we would crank off a one. And then with the engine running, we go to the both position and then we can charge both batteries at the same time because they're parallel off the alternator on the engine. And the problem with that is if you leave it in the both position, when you've shut the engine down, you can kill all the batteries on the boat and then you can't crank the engine. And the other problem is if you turn that switch off when the engine is running, you can destroy the alternator because you effectively disconnect the alternator from the batteries. So uh, what the, the boat owner here is looking at doing is improving the system somewhat by adding whatever's designated as the house battery, adding another one. So we got a bigger battery bank. And then we still have a cranking battery. And so then how are we going to charge these? Well, the alternator on the engine, essentially we can wire it to one or other battery. And we would be best to, to wire it directly to one of the batteries, probably to the cranking battery. So we can't open circuit it with the switch. And then we want some kind of a paralleling relay between the batteries so that we can charge the other battery when the engine's running. And there's lots of voltage sensitive relays that we could put in the circuit now that would do the job or we can get more sophisticated with a battery to battery charger. And then when it comes to the, the shore power battery charger, uh, we really would should apply that to the house batteries because they're the ones who are going to do the work and they're going to get most discharged. Uh, and then we would need some kind of a relay that we can, the same relay can work in both directions uh, to charge the cranking battery. Ideally, we will even replace that one, two, both switch with two individual one on and off switches, one for the cranking battery and one for the house batteries. And then uh, we can't accidentally parallel them and discharge them all uh, and get into other trouble. So we cover all these things in our courses and different configurations for these. What is basically a very simple boat with a simple electrical system, They're just ways of improving the system. Exactly. So if you are still having a one, two, both off switch on your boat, there's definitely better ways to doing this. And they're actually not very expensive. And we teach all of these different charging configurations in our Boat Electrics 101 course. So make sure to check that out at boathowto.com. See you soon.